Well, hello and a very warm welcome to all our primary seven pupils heading our way for S1 in August. Not only from Ash Park, Tinto, Merrilee, Given Bank, Darnley and Cleves, but from the 25 primary schools across the city, we can hardly wait to meet you properly as our first year pupils in August. Now, for those of you who haven't met me yet, I'm Mrs Collins, head teacher, and today I'm joined by Mr Wright, who for this session was um, head of transition. So I now welcome Mr Wright to the floor. Why, hello there. Um, as Mrs Collins said, my name is Mr Wright, and I have been leading on primary transitions this year, and it's been such a wonderful experience. Um, as you may or may not know, I'm also one of the pastoral care teachers at the school and I represent one of the six house groups that you could be part of. Um, you may remember me from taking part in Hill Park's Big Quiz of the Year. Um, we did that virtually with some of the primary schools and we also visited some of the primary schools and delivered that. I did that with Mr Murray. Um, I've also met with many of your teachers and some of the deputy head teachers and they've shared so many lovely things about you and we've been working really hard together to make sure that our staff at Hill Park know everything they need to about you for you starting in August. We want to make sure that your start at Hill Park is as smooth as possible and we can't wait to meet you. Now we know it's been a tough year what with school closures, self-isolations and let's face it limited social events you might not even have had your school prom. But here at Hill Park, we want to reassure you that despite the challenges, we want your first experience of Hill Park to be a positive one. Now to help you with this, we wanted to put together this small video um, with answers to the questions that you may all have. For example, we've had some questions about what our uniform is like, and we're gonna show you a slide of that just now. Now, your parents should have received a code entitling you to full PE kit, a school tie and free delivery of your school uniform. On our first day in August, we will expect pupils to arrive in full school uniform. Now, unfortunately, on the days that you have PE, you will need to wear your full PE kit and come into school wearing your PE kit. This is because our PE changing rooms do not have windows. And up until this session, we were not given permission to use them. If things change, we promise to let you know. Now, as well as being head of transitions this year, I'm also a pastoral care teacher, which I mentioned earlier. There are actually six house groups, and my house group that I represent is Pentland House. And should you be lucky enough to be a member of my house group, then I'll take good care of you. The other house groups are also excellent, so don't worry if you're not placed with me. We've got Cairn Gorm House, who is represented by Miss Gilmore Maguire. We've got Jura House, who that is represented by Miss O'Boyle, Lomond House, that is represented by Mrs Ferguson, Merrick House, that is represented by Ms Russell, and Nevis House, that is represented by Mr Dixon and Mr Morrison. We'll show you a slide now, just showing you a picture of each of those pastoral care teachers. You will also have a year head, and for you, this will be Mr Hughes. And I now welcome Mr Hughes to the floor now. Hi, my name is Mr Hughes, and I will be your new year head. I'm really looking forward to meeting you and working with you throughout the whole of first year. So have a great summer, and see you all come August. Now, another question you may have, as well as uniform, is... Where do you go on your very first day? Well, when you first arrive at Hill Park on Monday the 16th of August, we hope to get everyone into the assembly hall. But just in case we're still not allowed to do that, then you will be welcomed by staff and pupils so that you know exactly where you need to go. You should arrive at 10 past nine 
and you will be directed to specific areas within the school. So please do not worry. Now I want to take a moment to talk about some of the support that you will receive when you start with us in August. When you first start on Monday the 16th of August, we'll make sure that we have senior buddies and they will be pupils who will support you on your very first few days at Hill Park, making sure that you don't get lost, making sure that you know what classes to go to, and also making sure that you have someone to talk to. There's also so many opportunities that you can take part of at Hill Park. We have an excellent pupil council. We also have opportunities for class representatives to be elected, and we have LGBT and equalities groups that we would love you to be a part of. There are lots of support in terms of additional support needs. We've got a fantastic additional support for learning department who is led by Mrs. Reid, and we've got some wonderful teaching staff and support teachers there too, just like you would have in primary school. They will help you if you've got any difficulties with your learning. We've also got lots of other support that can help you with your health and wellbeing, including counselling services that we work with really closely. And should you think that you need a little bit of extra support, please let us know, and then we can pass on a referral to them. We've also got support for many of our young people who have English as an additional language. Miss McGoldrick is our EAL teacher and she's fabulous. We've also got lots of other support, including health and wellbeing ambassadors, and we've got further opportunities that we would love you to take part in when you start with us. Now, another question that you may have asked is, what is a typical day at Hill Park? So for S1, you enter by the main entrance at 10 past nine. Now each lesson lasts 50 minutes and on a Monday and a Tuesday, we have seven lessons, but from Wednesday to Friday, there are only six. That's a little bit complicated. So here is a snapshot of the structure of a typical week at Hill Park. Another question you might have is about homework. Well, we actually use an application called Satchel One. It used to be called Show My Homework. It's very similar to Seesaw, which I know many of you use in primary school. And your teachers will explain how to use that when you start at Hill Park. It's very simple and we'll also make sure we communicate information to your parents and carers so that they can access Satchel also. Now, as we all know, it's been so difficult to plan ahead during these COVID years. But I just wanted to bring some significant dates to you between August and Christmas. First of all, there will be your first tracking report on the 1st of October. We don't know if we're allowed parents' evenings as yet. However, we have it in the calendar for the 10th of November. And of course, finishing off the Christmas term, we have a Christmas concert scheduled for the 9th of December. Now, COVID has impacted on a number of things, but last year we were still able to have a fabulous year. And next up are a few examples of this. I now want to take a moment to talk about some of the amazing events that take place at Hill Park throughout the year. Very recently, we had our own talent competition, Hill Park's Got Talent, where we showcased many of the amazingly talented pupils and staff that we have at our school. We hope in August that you'll be able to show us some of your amazing talents. In the meantime, if you've not watched it yet, please go onto our school YouTube channel and you can watch the entire show. Other events that have taken place throughout the year include our Christmas Hamper Appeal, Christmas Jumper Day, LGBT History Month and Purple Friday, where staff and pupils all get to wear an item of clothing that's purple. Our Great Hill Park Bake Off, where baked goods are judged and a winner is announced. House Proud Day, where you can represent the house group that you're associated with. And I mentioned those earlier, hopefully you can remember. And also numerous food bank donations. These are just a few of the events that have taken place and there are many, many more. And we hope in August, that you'll be part of those events as we move forward as a school and learning community. Thanks and hope to see you soon. And now here are a few questions and answers that you may have had.
Now, I hope that's reassured you and you feel really excited to start with us in August. Now, Hill Park does have a lot of opportunities for you and we have so many amazing clubs and extracurricular activities that we would love you to be a part of. Now, before COVID and restrictions were in place, we were able to do a lot more. However, with restrictions easing and with our knowledge of the virus being a little bit more expanded than it was before, we're able to implement clubs in a little bit of a different way. And hopefully going forward, we'll be able to do that. Now, some of the amazing clubs that we have to offer take place in our expressive arts faculty. We have in the past had drama club, singing club. We've had um, music clubs as well, where people are able to practice instruments. We've also had clubs take part in our wonderful PE department, including netball, volleyball, badminton, football, to name but just a few. The clubs that we have out with these departments also include Origami Club. We've got Magic the Gathering, if you like playing uh, card games or like computer games. We've also even had a coding club, club in the past. And hopefully we'll be able to run these clubs again when you start with us in August. I hope that whets your appetite and gives you a taste of what Hill Park has to offer for you. So as Mr Wright has said, we hope that this small presentation has reassured you and also helped make you a little bit excited about starting in August. We can't wait to meet you properly as our very own new S1 group and we hope you have a fabulous summer and we will see you soon.